You know, there's nothing more pure and delightful than the genuine belly laughter of a baby. The unfiltered joy that beams from their tiny little faces when they're delighted by a shiny object or by their mother's attention is priceless. There's also something pristine and uplifting about the song of a bird. It comes bursting out of their breast as an expression of pure joy. Ornithologists tell us that sometimes birds sing to establish territorial rights or to attract a mate. But they also agree that for the most part, birds sing just for the joy of singing. And birds don't just chirp when they're babies. They sing their entire lives. They don't worry about paying bills or wearing the best fashions. They're not concerned with a better house or better car. They simply sing and soar through the sky. When you were a baby like the bird, you had no worries. You were not fashion conscious. You weren't concerned about whether other babies had better toys than you. You made gurgling noises and were full of joy. You lived in the moment, in awareness. But all too soon, people lose their song. Henry David Thoreau said, the mass of men lead lives of quiet desperation and go to the grave with their song still in them. We could learn much from observing the birds. Unlike humans, they do not live lives of desperation and they die with their songs having been sung. The bird never sings just to give a confession. The bird never sings just to teach us a lesson. The bird never sings to enlighten our mind with doctrines or dogmas or teachings divine. The bird simply sings without motive or ploy, expressing a heart that is bursting with joy. So why are babies so full of joy and laughter? And why are so many adults devoid of both? Something happens between the infant and adult stages of life that seems to throttle the spontaneous expressions of joyful living. The big difference is that babies live in the present moment and for the most part are not captured by worry, anxiety, depression, fear, or regret. Adults experience all of these things and all worry, anxiety, depression, fear, and regret are products of their thoughts. Babies are aware and present. Most adults are absent from the present because they're either living in the past with regret and sorrow, or they're living in the future with anxiety and fear. Babies have not yet learned to let the white noise of their thinking rob them from the awareness of the moment. When we choose to become as a little child, we re-enter the wonder and awe of the present moment. We should not be childish, but we should be childlike. That has been the advice of great teachers throughout the entire history of the world. 